Hey guys, before the video begins, I would like to make a very important announcement in regards to a new channel made by a friend of mine, Kelly Productions. He has created a new channel named The Watch. It's a channel dedicated to making superhero films and miniseries of a new universe that has been created and named The Watch. And the first film is out right now. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even on this very channel, you know I've spoken about a film that's been involved that I've been involved with. Well, this is it. The Midnight Warden. I'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribe to this channel, liked the video, turned on notifications, and shared this film with your friends so we can make more films in the future. The more awareness of our films, the more we can make. You can find a link to the channel in the description below of this video, or click on my channel and go to the section channels, and it will be there as we speak. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. What's going on, buddy? My name is Elprins, and welcome back to yet another reaction video. Today, I got more Finance of Freddy's videos for you guys. And before you say anything in the comment section, no, I will not be going back and reacting to all of his in interview uh, animations because I've already been completely caught up on the series for the last couple of years he's been making these. So, no, I will not be going back to those. Um, today, I got a video for you guys by J Gems. This is an interview with Cassidy, and I remember when I watched the last interview video. I think it was a lot. It was a while back. I think it was earlier last year. I could be very wrong because I'm not completely uh, caught up with timelines and when he, the videos are made. So I'm not going to really say much on that front. But he's made another video, and this is by far the longest video on his. With, with, in terms of his interview series. So, I'm not going to really say too much because this is quite a long video. So, we're just going to go ahead and get right into the reaction. And I'm quite curious as to how this is going to go. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get right into today's video. In three, two, one, go. For some reason, I had to look over and make sure I was recording instead of talking to myself. <laughs> I mean, I do talk to myself, but in terms of intros, but I don't know why. For some reason, I didn't think I was, um, I didn't have the recording going. For some reason, Jay Gems, reposition my hat, headphones. Jay Gems presents, I got always got my water with me, an original series. If you guys haven't, sorry, if you guys haven't watched any of his interview videos, I suggest you go back and watch all those. Because they are quite in, quite scary. <laughs> Named to Rio with Cassidy. <clears throat> this was the last video he uploaded. What was it? I forgot the name of it. What was it? Interview with Foxy or something? I could be very wrong. How much time has passed since... April 7th, 1984. Turn up a little bit. Does that date sound familiar to you? <clears throat> what the hell is this? This date was very important to me. I'm not surprised you don't remember. Why would you? Where am I? But this date does invoke something inside of you. Yes. A joy. But also, sadness. Is he in his own personal it prison now? Eating at you. It has been since then. You cannot escape it. You cannot run from it, despite what you tell yourself. What do you want from me? You are hurting, Mr. Afton. You're an open wound. And I am here. To close it. Make you bleed. Ow. <clears throat> Falling into his own personal hell. Here we go. <clears throat> the interviewed Golden Era. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is a little clogged right now.
Throughout the 80s, countless children were murdered at the, Fre at the Fazbear's Diner, leaving their spirits to roam the halls of the establishment. The man responsible for the killing was terrorized by these spirits driving him to hide in one of the animatronic suits. That didn't go well for him. <laughs> A malfunction in the suit caused the man to become cr crushed by the spring locks, inevitably killing him. The building was later abandoned, leaving anybody inside trapped. <clears throat> Rather than our deep storage, 30 years and counting. Wait, so is he moving around? That actually raises a good question. What is uh, spring trapped at? Okay, William Afton, walking around consistently in the room he was trapped in all the time while he was waiting to get released. Well, freed by the company that made uh, Raspberry Fright. And what did he do during all that time? Just think? What did you do? Jesus Christ, that actually made me jump a little bit in my, in my chair. <clears throat> But if only you had been such a mindless, stupid fucking idiot, none of this would have happened. Oh, okay, we got language. <clears throat> oh, I just realized I want to see something. Are there subtitles? Why did you do? There is. Okay, I'm gonna keep this on. Why didn't you just listen to oh. me? Ow, Elizabeth. Why didn't anybody listen to me? They called me deranged. They said I was a madman. Well, it would seem that this madman has beaten death. <laughs> Shout out to the voice actors. Jesus Christ! What the hell? Oh, is this going right, right off the last time? It seems that way. Oh wait, or is this the time when uh, gems captured Afton? With luring all the other animatronics to where he was. Yep, this is it. Oh, that wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> Just grab this gun. <laughs> For some reason, and I thought this would have been really cool. I would. I was expecting a uh, spring trap to grab the axe off the wall and just throw it at one of the uh, one of the guards' heads. I was. That's. Uh, that's what I was expecting. Not him jumping at them from behind. Well, present day. right now. Something's gonna come out of the bushes. Or the guy in the background is gonna get snagged. Oh! Hello, Phantom Foxy. Oh yeah, that's right. The Phantom Animatronics joined uh, Cassidy.
What did they run over? And he got him. What can the gems do against uh, phantom animatronics? Yeah, they're dead. You know, the phantom animatronics have never been scary, but J Gems actually finds a way to make them scary. Like, intimidating. What are they hauling Care that the Phantoms the want? Hours. Oh! Weapons and ammunition. He's not here. Oh, they're looking for someone. Who are they looking for? Right, right as hell. Oh, that's how they beat the Phantom animatronics, holding them in place with with lights. I'm not gonna lie, that hurt my eyes. <laughs> well, he did put a warning, so should have listened. <laughs> This is kind of random, but I have a question. Go on. So you know how we had that party back in 1985? The one with the really big cake? Oh, I? Well, it got me thinking. How old are we? Like, do we just stop where we died, or do we keep counting? I, I don't know, Chica. Jeez, wait, that would make me like 30 or something. What? Well. That would make me around 40 then, wouldn't it? <laughs> you old man! <laughs> you die tomorrow, mate. Hey, don't jinx it. Hey, uh... What's up with Lefty? <clears throat> She's been more somber than usual. Cut her some slack. She hasn't said a word since that whole kerfuddle back at the warehouse. Are you worried about the others? I don't just mean the younger ones, like Freddy and Foxy and all that. Goldie, he seemed pretty pissed. I just want to make Afton pay. Look, I can't see this ending pleasantly for any of us. We just got to stick to the plan, get Afton, and finish what we tried to do. He'll get. Yeah, the question is finding out where the hell they went. What goes around comes around. We are here. Oh. Wait, were they tracking? Oh, they were tracking. I was like, why are they walking in the forest in, in my head? I was like, why are they walking? Over there. What the? Oh, the gems. The capturing the phantom animatronics. He's gonna lose his mind. 1984. I will ask you again. Does this date sound familiar? This is the date where you took your first victim. This is where it all started. This is my death date. Remember it, Mr. Afton. What do you want from me? An apology? Like that could undo any of the damage I've done. It won't bring back your old life if that's what you want. That is no longer what I want. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's not gonna happen. What do you want? What do you want then? Y literally my question. You to suffer. I want you to experience a fraction of the pain I've been through. <laughs> He's like, that, he's like, that's not even close to the pain that I've been through. Try getting crushed by an by a spring lock suit. You don't know suffering. 
You don't think I know suffering? I was locked in the same room for 30 goddamn years! That is not what I am referring to. You think you can somehow run from your past by choosing to ignore it. You've had quite the life, Mr. Afton. Let's recap, shall we? Was that? You were also responsible for the death of your wife. I had good reason for it. Yes, the reason. Elizabeth. Don't you dare say that name! You were responsible for her death too. Killed by the hand, or perhaps claw, of your own machine. Yep. What are you doing? You know, we've never gotten confirmation what happened to Afton's wife. Throughout the entirety of the franchise, I don't think we've ever gotten an idea of what truly happened. Like, did he divorce her? Did he kill her? we have I don't think we've ever gotten the information. Even if we have, then let me know in the comment section. I'm merely reminding you of your sins. In case you forgot. Stop this. Your son. Evan, killed by yet another one of your creations. Stop it. Mmm. Fred Bear. Holding the phantom animatronics. It can't be just the light, can it? Don't get too close to them, man. Yeah, I was about to say the nightmare animatronics. Yeah, it's me again. Murmur it up. Murder, murmur it up. <laughs> murmur oh, it guys, up. I'm not in the mood. All right, if you insist. Oh, you lose. <laughs> animatronics got a gat. <laughs> you owe me one. Did he literally oh, just? Now you want me to? <clears throat> Stay out of this. Consider your ghostly ass rescued. Now, what do you say? We were doing just fine without you. Thank you very much. Didn't look like it. Something that needs to be dealt with. So, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, okay. Calm your horses. Who are you trying to impress with your oh so serious attitude? Our interests no longer align. Cassidy needs Afton for reasons you aren't willing to understand. And we aren't about to allow some military con artist prevent her from doing what must be done. Alright, alright, fair enough. It looks like we have our differences. But at the end of the day... The goals are still the this, same. Uh, G.I. Jackass. So we'd like to help. <laughs> You're helping us. Call it a ceasefire. What are the Phantom Animatronics looking for, anyway? Guys, we think we're under attack! Yeah, mate, we were thinking the same thing. Oh, they really want a scrap now? They really want a piece of this? The Major should be in the last vehicle. Oh, they're looking, looking for the guy in charge. Puppy doesn't need his double-A batteries. I might be waiting on Mike for this. Let, let's do it! We mustn't let him enter the premises. Cassidy needs her time with Afton. Oh boy, you guys, always resulting the violence. Barney, we know you're not one to put up a fight. But don't worry, we'll be your left-hand man. <laughs> Got him. 
Oh, very funny and odd. I'll give you points for originality. Oh, actually, no, I won't. Baby, Ray, get the balls on it. This is gonna be a turn to a animatronic scrap down in a second. Tell me this, where the hell is the one you call Springtrap? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. <laughs> no comeback. Oh, we're back by Afton. Yes. That was a brutal scene. How do you feel, Afton? You are reliving your worst experiences, your nightmares, your hell, over and over and over again. You should know that this is simply that flash is gonna get to me sooner or later. It is my responsibility to ensure that the feelings you experience now shall prevail for the next many millennia. Or at least, until our star burns out. We shall see what happens then. You can't break me. But of course, one cannot break what has already been broken. True. True that. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I was under the impression you had lost anything remotely resembling empathy or remorse. But for a moment, I saw sorrow. Fleeting, but noticeable. I'm going to kill you, like I killed the rest of them. Oh, okay. That would be entertaining, I suppose. And fortunately for you, you have all the time in the world to plan this theoretical action. But I believe it is safe to assume that no force on this earth can match the power I believe. No, there is. Ow, that hurt. That hurt both my eyes and my ears. Hello again, Afton. We have unfinished business we need to discuss. Please, come with me. I was gonna say the puppet, but I guess the Major has it too. That scared me more than it should've. How do you know that would work? Electrical currents stun them. They may be undead, but they're still just nuts and bolts. Say, detective, maybe you should stay behind. Keep the rest of them in line. You can leave Afton to me. <laughs> What's the matter? Some of them getting on your nerves. <laughs> no, I just need you here. Thanks. All right, roger that, I guess. All right, so the gems now have Afton again. <laughs> The Van Damme animatronics are not gonna like this. Gem 8. Where is that? That's an S. It looks like an 8. What? Uh oh. He saw the truck. <laughs> Bonnie in the background. <laughs> I don't know why that made me- I don't know why that made me laugh. It shouldn't have. You let him get away. Major is taking care of it. Wait a minute. You didn't get laid off, did you? What? No, no, I didn't get laid off. Then why did he leave you behind? He just needs me here. Making sure ones like you aren't killing our entire troop. Ugh, I don't want to hear it. I never hate you to think why he needs acted so urgently. The entire point of this operation was to learn how you work. For the benefit of our industry. Heck, every industry. The entire world. You're freaking immortal. Who doesn't want a taste of that? Okay, yeah, everyone's always saying that until they're the ones that are unkillable. Trust me, it's not as good as they make it sound. Major's a stubborn man. Try telling him that. Oh my god, how stupid are you? Open your eyes, you moron! He used you to get to us because we refused to talk to him! Wait, what? 
You're the investigator here, aren't you, Detective? You understand us, but we trust you to trust us, and we need your help. Trust is a strong word. He did just ruin a perfectly good plan by sending away our only leverage again. I can't believe this. So the Major is just wanted what after... What they're talking about? I don't know, but it doesn't sound good. <laughs> just give him the middle finger! <laughs> what happened with Lefty and Goldie? Are they, like, good now or something? No way, dude. Last time I checked, she was unleashing hell on everyone. Why do you ask? Where is Lefty? Look. Oh. That answers my question. You gonna pull it out? Yep. And Cassidy is gonna lose her shit. Stop meddling with what you don't understand. You have nothing to gain. Nothing is gonna lose her shit. To lose. And there go to Phantoms. They're going after Spring Trap, and they're Sorry, going after the. What exactly will happen to Afton now? Well, knowing Major, he's going to run all kinds of experiments on Afton at HQ until he gets what he wants, which could take weeks, months, even years. To be honest, I don't know when he'll be satisfied. I'm sorry. Oh, beautiful. And now he's probably taking them to some undisclosed off-grid facility, and we have no idea where this is or how to get there. I wouldn't say that. He doesn't know. Oh, GPS tracking. How much more time of this do we still have? Oh, we still got a couple more minutes. Where are you taking me? Answer me! I maximum facility. Look at those all the vehicles they have. J Gems, you do not disappoint with your videos. Listen, <laughs> but I need one of their uniforms. I can't just waddle in there as the now infamous detective. If you need a uniform, say no more. I did it once, I can do it again. Actually, now that I think about it... Enard, you're coming with me. I'm gonna need someone to fry the cameras as I infiltrate. And I assume you're one with the wires? I, uh, I can't believe you would say that about us, Saturn. Of course we'll help you. All right. Let's go catch ourselves a spring trap. Again. <laughs> I don't know why my phone just went off. All right, is everyone okay? Yeah, we're in. I think I'm getting the hang of it. I really couldn't have made these friends a little wider. <laughs> I thought you are supposed to be good at that stuff. And I thought the lookout was supposed to be armed. <laughs> be quiet, you guys. We need to focus. We can't be here for very long. I may have a disguise. But if I'm caught trying to bust after now, it's over. Hey, in on. I got a camera up ahead. Work your magic. All right, hold on. I'm initializing my electromagnetic multi-system wipeout. <laughs> it just sounds like he's destroying a bunch of things. <laughs> Where that Bonnie is so done with this shit. So you do know which room is it, right? Or am I just systematically disabling cameras in front of you? I put the tracker on the van, not Afton. But it shouldn't be too hard to find him ourselves. We just need to keep looking. 
Every time I see with a Bonnie, you just read the emotions in his exoskeleton. I was going to say face, but he doesn't have a face. That's why I said exoskeleton. What are they trying to make? Restricted access. Of course we're gonna open it. What is it? What is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Remnant husk? Attachments. Remnant hu Remnant capacitor, automatic suppressed machine gun, shoulder mounted grenade launcher, inbuilt tactical karambits? Oh, karambits. Ultra-Ryan feet treads, high-pressure hydraulics. They're turning Afton into a weapon. To be continued. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> they always leave off on such suspenseful parts. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man. Shout out to everyone who helped out with this project to put this whole video together. Gems, if you guys, if you want an extra like body actor, like for the garage or whatnot, hit me up. I'll gladly do some voice work for you. Um, So that was a lot, long, lot um, more interesting. I forgot, it's been a while since I've watched the interview series, so I forgot how interesting it, it, it can be. And now we know what the gem, or rather the maid, whatever the guy's name is, the boss, the major, whatever he's called, now we know what he's trying to do. He's trying to turn William Afton into a weapon. <laughs> like, that's never been done. Actually, it's never been done before. Never mind. <laughs> well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's reaction video. I'm going to react to the next one when it comes out in the future. So look forward to that. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video, whatever it's going to be, because I actually don't know myself. Bye.